and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com today i am going to share the exam preparation strategy for the esi paper of rba grade b phase 2 the economic and social issues paper so there is a lot of confusion among students regarding the basic syllabus of the esi paper how to start your preparation what kind of study material that you should follow which official website you should follow so today i am going to solve your confusions right to make the things little bit clear so last year in 2017 uh, let me tell you the pattern of the esi paper so basically there are four parts of the esi paper current affairs banking and finance government schemes and economics so let's start the esi paper uh, in 2017 the exam pattern was the current affairs current affairs banking and finance banking and finance government schemes and the last one is economics so from the current affairs there were 33 marks devoted to the current affairs and from banking and finance there were 11 marks and then 29 marks from government schemes and 27 marks from economics so total 100 so there were 35 questions uh, uh 35 questions of one mark and 30 uh, uh, 35 questions of one mark and <coughs> 35 questions of two mark actually and 30 questions of one mark right so this was the exam pattern current affairs banking finance government schemes and economics <coughs> so let me tell you the basic syllabus of the Uh, of the ESI paper, I will provide the PDF of the 2017 paper in the description. Please download the PDF. So further, we we provide the coaching for RBI Grade B exam, the RBI Grade B 2018 course. Uh, the link to join the course is available in the description. We provide uh, video classes, we provide proper notes, and then test series for phase one as well as for phase two. So let's start. First of all, for the current affairs. So this is not IBPSP or SBI view. The <coughs> the syllabus or the topics that you need to focus on is little bit different here. In the current affairs, for example, in the current affairs, the various reports, rankings, or indices, uh, the international indices, international rankings, that these are really, really very important. In the last exam, I think there were like six questions from the rankings only. Yes, H S G I or various reports by wto right so these are actually really very important the rankings ranking and indices rankings indices reports by international organizations this topic is really really very important for this paper at least six questions will be there so this topic is really very important ranking reports and indices and the next topic various international organizations such as wto world bank and various financial organizations they are working and the important news by these organizations so international financial international uh, financial organizations financial organizations and the news re related to them the various reports published by them right so this topic is actually important the next one is various uh, summits and conferences <coughs> held around the world and then the various mous partnerships and various awards awards around the world so these are the few important topics for the current affairs right so that's all those important days and the static gk those are not the part of the current affairs in the esi paper right the, the normal topics that you follow for the ibps exam or the ibsb exam those topics you won't find such topics in the esi paper these are the few important topics ranking reports and this is various financial organizations in in india and are around the world and news related to those financial organizations then awards and honors are there summits and conferences are there and mous and partnerships are there uh, one important funda that we left here is uh, the various notifications by rbi that you can find on rbi's official website uh, but at team by team bank exams today we summarize all those notifications and we add those notification in our monthly gk digest that is made specially for rbi grade b uh, 
uh, grade B exam. So you can find the link uh, to that RBA grade B GCAT as just December 2017 in the description. Download the PDF for free. So this is the point number one, the current affairs. And then the next topic is economics. <coughs> In the economics, there are, you need to read about the basic economic concepts like national income, GDP, GNP, inflation, deflation, recession. Uh, this is the most important thing that you should read uh, while starting your exam preparation. The book that I personally recommend is Indian Economy by Sanjeev Verma. Very, very well written book, amazing books by Sanjeev Verma. Follow that book. And then you need to read about the union budget, obviously, economic survey of India, five years plans, fiscal and revenue deficits, basics of taxation, direct tax, indirect taxes, then you need to read about GST, then inflation, gender issues, globalization, economic reforms, various economic reforms, right? Economic reforms, the taxation reforms, various important amendments in the taxation rules, right? So that's actually important. Uh, from the economic point of view, economics point of view. Uh, further, if you uh, if you want to go in depth about the recent amendment or recent happenings in the economic environment, you can read the Yojana magazine, right? The amazing, amazing piece of work, a Yojana magazine, Yojana monthly magazine by government of India. So then the imp next important part is banking and finance. Again, in this, the notifications by RBI, the circulars, notification and bulletins by RBI, very important. Uh, we actually, we, uh, the team bank exams today summarize the notification and circulars by RBI and we include that in our monthly GK digest that is specially made for RBI grade B exam. Then the various banking and financial terms, very important. Then how mutual fund and stock exchanges works and the various laws related to mutual fund and stock exchanges. And if there is any amendment, recent amendment in the laws related to companies law, or you can say the, the any act related to mutual fund, then it is actually important. For example, recently and there is an amendment in the negotiable instrument act related to check bouncing, right? That is actually very important. Any, any new amendment related to the financial or the banking sector uh, is very important, right? Uh, FIRD bill, right? That is actually any new law, any new bill related to finance or banking or economy, that is actually very important for the RBA grade B exam. For example, the FRDI bill. You will find at least one question in the exam related to FRDI bill. And the second one, check bouncing. Very popular topic as of now. You will find at least one question in the exam. Then amendment, then the next part, the next unit is government schemes. Very important actually. Government schemes should be a part of current affairs, but we are, you know, separating it because there were like 29 questions from government schemes. Most of the two marks questions were from the government schemes. How you should read the government schemes actually. Various mobile apps are launched by the government, uh, the state and the national government. Just go through it. Just learn about how it works, what is the, what is the purpose of various mobile apps and web portals launched by the government or government of India or the state governments. Uh, then what, what are the history of various government schemes, what are the corpus, scheme corpus, what were the targets of the uh, those government schemes, whether those targets were achieved or not. Then what is the impact of those government schemes? That, that's all actually. Then read about the, all the government scheme uh, where you can read about it. Obviously, the newspapers, Indian Express or the Hindu further on bankexamstudy.com, we summarize all the government schemes in the month. See, uh, at the end of every month, at around uh, 10th of every month, we release a GK capsule, GK digest. We call it RBA grade B GK digest. We release it at the 10th of every month and we summarize all the all the notifications of RBI within like 20 pages and we summarize all the government schemes launched in that particular month within 20 pages and then we summarize all the current affairs for that month within 20 or 30 pages. So all in all it is a 65 to 70 pages digest that you can download from bankexamstudy.com. So what are the rec recommended, recommended resources for ESI paper? The number one resource uh, obviously the RBI grade B course by team bankexamstudy.com you can actually call me here. 99149 if you have any doubt you can call me here regarding the RBI grade B exam that is my number 
If you have any doubt, you can call here 9914968671. If you have any doubt regarding the RBI Grade B 2018 course by Team Bank Exams today, so we are providing this course. In this course, you will get all the video classes, you will get all the tests, you will get all the notes for finance and management, DSI for English writing skills, even even for the phase one, quantitative aptitude, reasoning, English, and general awareness. And the next good. Source of information. Next good resource for your study material is Indian Economy by Sanjeev Verma. Indian Economy by Sanjeev Verma. This is a really really good book for RBI Grade B. And then the monthly GK digest for RBI Grade B is very important. You should read it. As it, if you don't want to go go through the our monthly digest, obviously you can go to the official RBI website and newspapers and all. You can do that. Then the newspaper I recommend the Hindu or the Indian Express. These are the two good newspapers available in the market. Actually, even the Hindustan Times is actually good, but the Hindu is my first recommendation. And then the the Indian Express is my second choice. And then there are a lot of other good newspapers available in the market. Then the banking notes page of bankexamstudy.com is actually very important. Uh, even the last time there were like four questions from the this banking. Uh, notes page. I will provide the link in the description. So that's all for the today, students. If you have any doubt related to RBI Grade B 2018 course, or you need any notes for that uh, uh, RBI 2018, RBI Grade B 2018, you can just call me right here, and I will provide the link to join the course in the description. Uh, thank you, and have a nice day. Bye.